Hi guys, it's Marina from Jolly Angel. Um, you'll have to excuse this video because I'm actually doing it on my phone and I've never recorded anything on my phone before so it's um, going to be trial and error if this works. Um, sorry I haven't put a video up for a long time but you know I've been busy with life and changing over jobs and things like that so but I have been doing bits of crafting um, I've been doing swaps and things like that not a lot but uh, I have done one or two um, uh, I did take photographs but however I lost a lot of photographs so what I'm going to show you at the moment now is this is a pocket letter that I've done for a swap for a, a lovely lady um, that I'm Facebook friends with um, so we decided to do a pocket letter swap she'd done hers quite a while ago so I'm only now getting round to getting this filmed and um, hopefully get it in the post of her. So, um, so you might probably recognise the papers. Sorry about the glare, ladies. Um, so on here I have a little charm dangle, which is a um, little like fob watch with a capuchon in that I bought, and I bought this from the Trinket Parlour. Just let you see that a little closer okay um, and then I also bought some words and some little letters so I put our initials on here as well with a little bit of seam binding so basically these um, papers I think everybody's got these papers I can't remember the name of them offhand but uh, yeah anyway um, I just fussy cut this lady out and decided to build this pocket letter around this lady and because the papers are so nice I didn't really want to go OTT with them so I haven't put much decoration on I have fussy cut this put this in the corner put this a uh, resin piece here which is from the trinket parlor as well I think I got a bit of a shadow on there not so sure because I can't really see the, the screen properly but yeah so and then just put a little banner there so i put the pocket letter in that one and at the, at the bottom here i just done a frame and i sort of went along a theme of framing because i have this stamp and i colored that in with some uh, spectrum wire pencils and cut that lady out then fussy cut her out because i put her on there a sheet of uh, book paper then put her on this frame that was gifted to us um, again put a little a scene, a friendship scene, a couple of flowers and again a little frame with loads of little flowers falling out of the frame and then on the back as we've all done we have a little bits of goodies um, I haven't crammed it with goodies because I didn't want to distort the front I quite like to keep it as flat as I can so it doesn't bulge out too much because I don't think I think they look quite um, distorted in the front then when you're trying to look at them so only a few little goodies but um hope you like them mary jean so that is the pocket letter now when she sent us her pocket letter she sent a few gifts with it um well generally when i do pocket letters i don't generally do the gifts because um the gifts in the back of the pocket letter were what it was all about however I did make her this which is um it's called a wallet mini album and I seen it made on a YouTube channel and the lady is called at YouTube channel is called super happy uh, scrapper and I just followed her tutorial so she made a belly band and I went along the theme of the belly band I've made it with the same papers that I've made the pocket letter but this is the how it's turned out and um, she's done a, quite a few pockets up here but I've I took them back off because when I went to close it the thickness of it um, I don't think the spines are wide enough to do it so what I actually done is ripped most of the pockets out I think there was about six of them here but I've ripped it right down and um, just done this really for her to stick photographs on and journal 
and of course put a background paper on there um, and then there was also um, the waterfall so I just used the papers really and all I done was just ordinary um, um, exercise paper to put on the back there and what I've done here is I cut these out uh, with a, a die and I have a little uh, corner um, like this there's corners for photographs so I've done that so she can put little small photographs there if she wishes um, I've also got this pocket here and I've also done a few there where she can stick throughout her album if she wishes to stick photographs on so I've done a few of them and I've done a few plain in case she just wants to journal somewhere else and then that's supposed to be like a little um, book type thing um, but I couldn't do it because of the thickness of um, how it turned out like I know if I make another one I would have to make the spines um, bigger um, probably another quarter of an inch bigger I think maybe I'm not so sure I would have to have a little experiment but um, I'll try and leave the link below if I can like I said I'm doing this on my phone so I'm not so sure now how it's going to work out being uploaded um, to the phone because I've always I'm always used to doing it on um, say that's gone too too thick now so they'll have to take the bulk out of that now that's it um, so I will upload it now if I can put a link I will if I can manage and work out how to do it and because um, this is a like I said first time I'm doing this on my phone and going to upload it to YouTube so that's that with a pocket letter and um, I do hope you like it and uh, see you next time bye guys